order of things, but yes. We're, 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 we're playing the what if game because that's where we're left. We don't know what would have happened if they had added Montez Sweat opposite Aiden Hutchinson. If you get up 17 points, does one of those guys make a singular play that changes the course of that game? Yeah, when I when I think back to the NFC title game, I focus on three plays: the the Josh Reynolds drop, the Jameer Gibbs fumble, and, and the, the Vildor. Vildor. But there were more than just those three plays. To your point, at any point in the second half, when Brock Purdy was slippery in the pocket right. and extended a third down and another third down and another third down, if someone gets him to the ground, you get the ball back and you win the game. Right, and and so is it a lesson learned that? If we had made a trade last year, maybe we would have been in the Super Bowl. Maybe we would have been Super Bowl chance. Okay, and we don't know. But now the expectations are that you are going to be playing in the Super Bowl, that you're going to be playing against Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen, Lamar Jackson. And what do you have to do against those three guys? I'll be shocked if the AFC representative is not one of those three quarterbacks and obviously the teams that they play for. So you're going to have to apply pressure. You're going to have to be able to make them uncomfortable. What was the, the Super Bowl that Patrick Mahomes lost? Why did they lose that Super Bowl? Pressure. Tampa Bay had them running all over the place. Now, I don't expect this defense to be the Tampa defense of that that year. But a little element of that would go a long way. Has to go a long way. Ding, ding, ding for both of you because the Purdy's elusiveness is what flipped that game. The consistency from play to play where he would get away and buy time. And by the way, who are the NFC quarterbacks you could face deeper in the playoffs? It could be Jalen Hurts or Jaden Daniels. It could be Brock Purdy again if they resurrect their season down the stretch. You just can't go into the playoffs with practice squad edge guys and and look your fan base in the eye and say we're doing everything we can to win a Super Bowl it would be a disservice to the other guys in that locker room it'd be a disservice to this coaching staff who are trying to make it work to Aaron Glenn's credit they've tried to scheme up pressure give them the best chance to win the Super Bowl I mean and, 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 I, I, and, I, if I, if I was I would hope Campbell has gone to Holmes and said we have to add somebody not we, we let's look and see and you know I, I hope that's the message because that carries a ton of weight if he's saying well if we could just yeah let's do this but not let's overspend and we can have next man step up that's huge no i like i think fans need to realize like if we get to tuesday at four o'clock and they haven't made a deal i think it probably cost them the super bowl i do I really do well, because and, I think John's right. You're you're going to play one of those three guys in the Super Bowl. We're going to see it against Buffalo in December here. Yeah, and you know all three of those teams can run the football too. By the way, yeah, they're good, good balanced offense, yeah, especially Baltimore and Buffalo. James Cook is having a phenomenal season. I don't know if people are realizing this, mm-hmm. and that has made Josh Allen a lot better because you have to account for it. So i really don't think it's overstating it there will be people that call in here we've already had them on text a couple of them yeah. throughout the last couple of weeks since hutch got hurt that will say you guys can't tell brad holmes what to do to me this is a this would be the opposite of eduardo rodriguez with scott harris it's just indefensible to not add depth at least yeah listen i, I know there's a camp of people that says how dare you he's brad holmes shut up stop questioning it and and for the most part we, we all would agree he's great at his job, but we're allowed to have our own eyes and ears and use our brains, and we look at this football team, and I think even they have to look at this football team and see what we see. They need help on the edge. 